Alright, so for this problem we are told that a steel plate that is a quarter inch thick is embedded in a concrete wall to anchor a high strength cable as shown. The diameter of the hole in the plate is three quarters inch thick, the ultimate strength of the steel is 36 KSI, and the ultimate bonding stress between the plate and the concrete is 300 PSI. And we are asked to determine the factor of safety for the cable anchor when P equals 2.9 kips, knowing that A equals 2 inches and B equals 6 inches. So, looking at this problem, we are going to have to analyze two different scenarios here. So we're going to have to look at when the um, when this uh, little um, anchor fails through this hole, and also when this whole system fails through uh, shearing right here along this concrete. So I'm going to go ahead and start by analyzing the hole. And to do that, we need to kind of draw a cross-sectional area of what that looks like. It's obviously going to fail at this um, area where it's being pulled through this hole um, right here so i'm going to kind of draw that scenario right here so um, this is the diameter of the hole which is three quarters inch thick and so we just have these two shaded sides that we need to look at when we're determining the area that is in tension and so to find the area in tension i'm going to do the, um, this is the thickness right here which we are told is a quarter inch and so we just need to figure out this length here which is going to be the entire length a minus the diameter of the hole so let's go ahead and do that um, we have 0 0.25 inches and then times our um, length a 2 minus the uh, diameter of the hole which is 0 0.75 inches and so when we multiply these out we are going to get that the area and tension is 0 0.3125 inches squared. So now that we have the area and tension, um, we also know that the ultimate strength of the steel is 36 KSI. And so um, knowing these two things, we can find the P ultimate that is acting at this point. So remember that the ultimate strength formula is equal to P ultimate over A. So we can rearrange this and get that P ultimate is equal to the ultimate strength times A. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. We know that the ultimate strength is 36 KSI. And we know that the area and tension is 0 0.3125 inches squared. And then we can get that the P ultimate And now we can get that the ultimate P is going to be 11.25 kilopound or kips. Um, so now that we have that, remember that there is a factor of safety formula. And the factor of safety formula is equal to P ultimate over P. And so we are already given both of these. We know that P ultimate is 11.25 kips. And then P is equal to 2.9 kips which is given in the problem statement so we know that our factor of safety would need to be 3.88 to prevent failure through that hole and so now we need to check the second scenario which would be um, shearing in the concrete which would be if you were to pull hard enough and the anchor were to uh, pull out through the concrete um, and fail and shear and so um, basically for that we need to figure out the area between the plate and the concrete slab which is going to be the perimeter times the depth so i'm going to go ahead and write that down perimeter times depth and then um, we know that this is also going to be two times two plus quarter inch times the depth which is b and b is given in the problem statement as six inches and so we get that our area is equal to 27.0 inches squared and now we need to find the um So now we need to find the shearing stress, ultimate shearing stress, which I think is given to us in the problem statement. 
Yep, ultimate bonding stress, uh, 300 PSI. So let's go ahead and change that to KSI, and that's going to be 0 0.3 KSI. And so now remember that the formula for the shearing stress is going to be P ultimate over A. So in this scenario, we have our P ultimate, um, and we have our, or we're looking for the P ultimate, we have this um, ultimate shearing stress, and we have A. So if we rearrange this, we can get that P ultimate is equal to our ultimate shearing stress times A, which is going to be 0 0.3 KSI times 27.0 inches squared. And that solving that gives us 8.10 kips. And so now again, like we did before, we're going to use the factor of safety formula, which is P ultimate over P. So we have our P ultimate, which is 8.10 kips. And again, we're given our P, which is 2.9 kips. And so solving for this, we get that the factor of safety is 2.79. So now we have two factor safeties. We have this 3.88 up here. We have 2.79 here. So this system is going to fail at the lowest factor of safety. Um, so we obviously need to choose the lowest factor of safety here. So our factor of safety that we're going to be choosing is 2.79. And that's our final answer for this problem.